this is shaping up to be another beautiful hot summer's day. Jared has come down to work on his aircraft, waving us goodbye from the hangar, and JJ and I went north yesterday, so today we decide to go south to visit the great big lake Taupo. And we come back a slightly different way than our outbound route, which begins with turning left, trekking down towards Katikati, where we see lots of kiwi fruit and avocados growing, along the edge of Taronga Harbour, which of course makes us really happy, and then over the Kaimais out onto the Horaki Plain where there are just a few little puffs of cloud. The first main landmark we come to is the town of Mangakino, which is on the banks of the mighty Waikato. We're going to follow the river for a little way through some beautiful countryside and past these hydroelectric dams. The Waikato River starts at Lake Taupo and on its way down to the ocean at Port Waikato it's made to produce electricity eight times which is really good for the clean green country that we live in. In the distance is a big rock, very distinctive and a landmark called Atiamuri or something like that. After these gorges the land opens out a bit and a little further along we pass one more dam and above that a place called Oraki Karako. That's a really interesting place to visit and somewhere we recommend to visitors from Europe because it's fairly off the beaten track. To get to it you have to cross this lake on a ferry from the right hand bank to that place on the left down there. Oraki Karako, well worth a visit. And a bit nearer Taupo there's geothermal power being produced from the ground there and there's the big lake and on the left of the picture is the start of the mighty Waikato River over a thousand feet above sea level. A little bit further on and we're landing on runway 17 parked up and ready to walk across to the terminal building for our lunch. We're quite excited. The Tarmac Cafe is going to be open. Um, not. So that looks a lot like lunch. little snack from the machine. Fortunately we're here before the crowds so we chill out for a couple of minutes and then go and check out the main action at Taupo which is skydiving. The business consists of loading punters into an aeroplane, taking them up into the sky and throwing them out. They land down here and the approved way of landing appears to be the good old-fashioned bum slide. The canopies look quite pretty with the sunlight shining through them. There's another bum slide happening and another followed by another followed by oh this one's managed to land standing up and keeps the passenger upright. There's quite a bit of traffic at the airfield so we have to hold at the point there before taking off but soon the runway is clear and we're off into that interesting looking sky. That's the harbinger of tomorrow's weather on its way. Out over the lake, Jean-Jacques is at work this time. He's flying us back and we enjoy Araki Karako once more before heading off further north up this arm of the river or lake to Lake Tarawera and over on the right there Mount Tarawera. When the mount erupted in 1886 it caused a lot of damage, loss of life and changed the landscape. It formed this big lake here instead of what was there before and a big tourist attraction vanished, the pink and white terraces. Crossing over a couple of lakes near Rotorua, we're heading on out to the coast over the little town of Makatu, and soon passing Tauranga. Over on the left there is Tauranga Airport, up ahead Mount Monganui, and the other side of Mount Monganui is Matakana Island. The island runs up as far as Waihi Beach, and forms a shallow entrance where the water rushing out as the tide goes out forms waves like those we just saw. We'll skip all the boring bits of circling around and losing height. We're down on the ground. Good old Jarrett has opened the hangar doors for us and is doing his housework. Uh, well, actually he's building an aircraft here and this is the technical process of shrinking the covering that he's just applied. So we hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you next time. Bye!